Have you been thinking about how to tell depression apart from laziness? Maybe you've noticed that your energy levels are low and you want to know if you need professional help or not. It could be depression if you constantly feel sad and can't find the energy to work. It might be laziness if you're unwilling to perform a task, especially when you put off doing it for unproductive activities. Depression cannot lead to laziness since depression is not a conscious act on your part. It's easy for you to confuse depression with laziness because they share experiences such as indifference, fatigue, and lack of drive. Yet, according to the Get America Fit Foundation, 78% of US residents fail to meet their daily physical activity requirements. But could depression have contributed to that high number? According to Mental Health America, over 4% of adults in America revealed having severe thoughts of suicide, a symptom of depression. Furthermore, the report disclosed that there'd been an increase in that metric since 2011 to 2012. Thus, it's very likely that depression had something to do with it. Indeed, depression and laziness both impact your motivation and energy levels, hence your productivity. Thus, it may be tricky trying to tell them apart. However, one thing you want to keep in mind is that both concepts aren't the same. Generally speaking, laziness is an intentional act, while depression isn't intentional. Here, let's look at some questions that can help you differentiate between depression and laziness. Are you sad and unproductive for long periods? Studies have shown that depression is related to low serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is a chemical in the brain that manages your mood. If your brain is constantly low in serotonin, you'll likely be sad for a long time. This is not the case with laziness, as lazy people might be in a good mood and still not want to work. You can learn more about that here on Psych Me Up, so remember to click the subscribe button. When your days become sad, thus making you unmotivated to work, then it's probably time to seek professional help. However, if your sadness only comes from not wanting to do a given task, then you're probably just lazy. Does your refusal to work result from feelings of unworthiness or wretchedness? Maybe you've told yourself that you're no good and therefore you don't want to work because you've convinced yourself that you'll spoil things. That's not laziness, it's probably depression. Depressed people are known to nurture feelings of guilt and worthlessness. They tend to feel that they are bad at not just their task, but everything. That is ridiculous. The very same reason why you can't be good at everything is why you can't be bad at everything. But as I said earlier, depression isn't intentional. The mind of the depressed is wired to make them feel less than they are. So, for instance, if you consider yourself the best at video games and picking spa locations, but your mood changes only when you have to do your job, then it's likely laziness. However, when you struggle to find anything you believe you're good at, you should consider seeing a psychologist. Do you still have hobbies and friends that you hang around with? Lazy people still maintain their hobbies and friendships, they just don't want to work. For people who are depressed, they don't really see the point in anything and don't want to be around people either. Even when around people, they don't talk or talk mainly about negative things. Due to a shortage in serotonin and the rewiring of the brain, people who are depressed rarely feel good. According to several studies on depression, being disinterested in your hobbies and choosing to lie down in bed rather than hang out with friends are symptoms of depression, not laziness. Symptoms of depression that are mistaken for laziness It's important to note that you can experience laziness as a result of a pandemic-induced burnout, which is different from depression. Symptoms of depression often confused with laziness include low motivation and energy changes in sleeping habits, and difficulty concentrating. In fact, studies have shown that as much as 90% of people with depression experience fatigue which is commonly mistaken for laziness. It is vital to remind yourself that you're human and thus need to rest and recharge yourself from time to time, and this should not make you tag yourself lazy, much less depressed. However, when your desire to be away from work becomes permanent, especially when it brings thoughts of suicide, then you should seek help. You can learn more about your psyche in the next video, and I hope to see you there.